So hello there, this is Auntie, and I am out looking for something to make for um, my office mate. It's her birthday, and I have looked at a couple of DIYs where I can take a um, champagne glass or a bottle of some sort and put some Mod Pod and a napkin over it and make it into a wonderful gift. So I am currently at the Dollar Tree and I am going to see if I can indeed do this craft for my coworker for her birthday. So come on and join me as I look around. So I went in the store, let me turn this down, and I was able to find exactly what I was looking for. So now I'm going to go home and try to see whether or not I can do a test item. So I brought a wine glass and a couple of other things because I want to see if I can do this DIY. Sometimes when you see them on um, YouTube, you know, you wonder, gosh, is that really that simple? Is that really that easy? Can I really make something um, for my family and friends that's nice and um, made by my hands? Mm, let's see. So today I'm going to test it out to see whether or not um, it works. And one thing that I will do is if it works, I will do give a shout out to the YouTuber who came up with this idea, or at least it was her idea that I saw on her page. So, I will shout her out if this works. If it doesn't work, I won't say a word. <laughs> because I don't want to be blasting somebody, you know what I mean? And they don't deserve to be blasted like that. But anywho, in any way, I am going to try it when I get in the home. And so, um... I will show you what I got from there. All right. Talk to you soon. Hello. So my co-worker's favorite color is purple. So I wanted to do um, a couple of shades of purple on it. Um, and I've already cut up the napkins for you can see I got paint all on my hand but anyway I'm going to let it dry do the base I'm going to wrap it um, so far so good so I must admit that this really did work um, I cut the letters off from a napkin as you can see and it says happy birthday it has a little balloon on it and then um, I cut these balloons off from the napkin and pulled the second layer off of it and it really does work I have um, a couple of edges like here that didn't um, I didn't lay down properly and then I ended up putting some beading and stuff down at the bottom looks almost like a little pimp back cup <laughs> Um, not a pimp cup, but a pimp back cup. And um, I don't like that. So this tester right here is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Um, so shout out. Let me give a shout out to her. Shout out to um, YouTuber DIY No Need to Cry. This really does work. And I want to show you some of the other um, napkins that I ended up 
getting today, just one second. So these are the napkins that I used for this glass. As you can see, I cut the balloons, and once you open up this napkin, you can really see um, what the ones that I use. So for instance, these right here at the bottom, the orange, the green, and the pink, came from this part of the napkin. And then um, these here are the purple, the blue, I'm sorry, the purple, the blue, the green, and the purple came from the inside of the napkin. Um, I also picked up some other ones. How cute is that? I picked up these white ones, and these all were from Dollar um, Tree. So I picked up these, and I thought that these were really cute, you know, to do something. That has like a little classic edge onto it, you know, whatever. Um, I also picked up just one second, ladies. I picked it up in black. So in case I want to do like this glass in. So I picked up these two. These are opposites. And so can you imagine that on a glass? Like this was really a project that really, really works. Um, it was another napkin that I picked up. One more, I believe. Yes, this one that I thought would be really cute on a wine bottle. Isn't she cute? She wouldn't be able to fit on a... She wouldn't be able to fit on a wine glass, but she certainly will be able to fit um, on a wine bottle and really, really look cute. It, what I've noticed is I'm gonna have to go out and buy an exacto knife, exacto knife, because cutting this stuff is such a task. I mean, you have to use the skinniest scissors. Um, your scissors have to be really precise. Um, so I think that's it. For DIY, no need to cry. Fantastic idea. It absolutely does work. Thank you so much for looking, like, and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.